Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pratik. In this video, I am going to demonstrate posterior shoulder dislocation reduction maneuver. Posterior shoulder dislocations are less common than anterior shoulder dislocations, but they are much more commonly missed. This kind of dislocation usually occurs after road traffic accident or an episode of seizure or electric shock. Patient usually presents with severe pain around his or her shoulder. On inspection, the posterior aspect of the shoulder is more prominent and coracoid process is also more prominent. On examination, the external rotation movement is significantly restricted. AP view of the shoulder x-ray shows classical light bulb sign. Our patient fell down from a two-wheeler and sustained posterior dislocation of the right shoulder. We are going to reduce this shoulder by gradually forward flexing the internally rotated and adducted shoulder till we reach the level of shoulder and then we will gradually externally rotate the shoulder to reduce the dislocation. This is the post reduction x-ray of the shoulder AP view. It is showing congruent reduced shoulder joint. After the dislocation has been reduced, the shoulder is immobilized in 10 to 20 degree of external rotation for a period of 3 to 4 weeks.